As the smoke cleared in Orlando, it revealed a political landscape marked by the same familiar battle lines. Many Democrats saw the core problem as guns, while many Republicans saw the core problem as people, and in this case, a specific kind of people. The bottom line is that the only reason the killer was in America in the first place was because we allowed his family to come here. Donald Trump told supporters in New Hampshire the latest attack proves he's right about calling a moratorium on immigration from Muslim countries. Hillary Clinton can never claim to be a friend of the gay community as long as she continues to support immigration policies that bring Islamic extremists to our country and who suppress women, gays, and anyone else who doesn't share their views or values. At a White House with flags at half-staff, President Obama tried to argue this wasn't solely about radical Islamic ideology, and nor was it solely about guns. It's not an either-or, it's a both-and. In Cleveland, Hillary Clinton tried to fend off Trump's allegation that political correctness about Islam has weakened America in its fight against terrorism, and she called out three countries she accused of coddling radical fundamentalists. It is long past time for the Saudis, the Gutteries, and the Kuwaitis and others to stop their citizens from funding extremist organizations. The Clinton campaign knows that Trump received a bump from past attacks in Paris, Brussels, and San Bernardino. Today, Hillary Clinton found herself walking a fine line, still trying to be the adult in the room, but also trying to give voice to Americans' anger and frustration. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Washington.